Hey everyone, welcome back for more Cookie Run Kingdom content. Today's video, we're going to discuss a quick start guide for all beginners. But before that, if you want updated Cookie Run Kingdom videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, to start off with this quick start for beginners, I'd like to give you a chance to be able to reroll your account. So basically, the reroll the, the re on how it works is that you summon um you try to summon through the gotcha system you get all the gems that you have then if you don't like um the cookies that you have you create another guest account so basically this one this is a guest account that i created let's go through um the settings then go to info you should be able to get this one for for you to get your coupon so you need to know your um your id or your guest or your user info so try to take a picture of that, go out and go to coupons. Then from here, you enter your account name here. So you you take a look at what you typed. So I'm going to type in what I was. I actually took a picture of what was there. So dash F E T N H nine one zero five six. Okay, just to be sure, just gonna double check FTT and H91056 guest. Okay, and the coupon code for the coupon codes, I'll actually put them in the description below so that you could check them out. I'll put their numerous coupon codes so that you can select from a few, but I'll just um, use one just to probably get, give you the biggest um, crystals. So it's Kingdom. We love you. Let's try this one. So let's claim our reward. There you go. So it says done. Log into the game to claim your reward. Okay. So let's get out of this. Let's go to your mailbox. So if you can see, I think it's on the top. There you go. So this is basically the, um, the one that you just got. The, the 3000 gems and um you already have other you know other gems there that were given to you once you play the game so uh, again just to remind you for for the reroll to work just have to create an account um a guest account then try to try to what do you call this try to um get coupon codes to bolster up your gems then after that once you have enough gems you go here to the gotcha system Try to reroll e either here the featured cookie or th this one the cookies. Let's uh, try our luck here first. So as we, what not enough crystals? Sorry, um, have to claim all my crystals. I forgot. So after claiming, you ha I have ten thousand crystals. So that's good enough for for three pulls. Um, if in the three pulls that I don't like the cookies that I got. I could actually again disregard this guest account and create another one once you have you know when once you're satisfied with the cookies that you have you can actually bind your account already here in terms of the info so log in you you bind your account to a facebook account or to um i think that's a google login so so that you could uh, you could uh, save your account wherever you want to save it okay but before that we'll try to do a gotcha first see if uh, this account is worth keeping so let's do a gotcha so this is my first pull so usually for the gotcha system um you there you go so you you will actually know that you have a good pull with a epic because um the witch's eyes actually turned into a heart and let's skip this so again you will see here your pulls Let's actually skip this one and let's see what we got. So let's plant a tree together. I think this is herb cookie. Okay, this is a good account. So I think I'm going to keep this already. So we'll have to herb cookie is one of one of the best cookies that you can get in the game. So let's go to our draw number two. So again, I'm if most of the cookies that you are looking for would be to start with again this is a good good pull very good pull um again, another epic let's see who it is so let's skip this one and uh 
let's it's pancake cookie let's actually skip everything bitter taste of failure i think this is espresso cookie no this is latte cookie so i already i already i actually got i'm actually this is a very um fortunate pool i got herb and i got latte cookie so this is a very good account already and i want this i want to save this actually if i didn't want this one i could disregard this this guest account and move on so again i'll just have to pull this one the last one and just skip so it's beet cookie so nothing special but for the first two pulls i got latte and i got herb cookie which actually i'm happy with so i'll try to save this account if i'm if and you know i'm, I'm happy with it so let's go to settings info login so sign in with a facebook account i'll sign with it apple or sign it with google so i'll sign in with with google so let's uh, bind this account because again i i'm not i'm not sure i'm not choosing to reroll anymore so um i'm gonna save it allow bind it to that account allow okay so basically the account this account is actually binded already to my email okay for the next part of this quick start i'll be using my main account so basically for the main account um i've been playing this already for quite a while but um one thing to note as a beginner is that you should be able to unlock this one the world exploration because more or less the world exploration will will unlock you content and will you know will 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 be able to, you will be able to progress through the game so let's go to the world map so more or less you'll be starting with um this one um as you go through through the chapters um or the episodes you'll actually be unlocking content you'll be unlocking um what do you call this you'll be unlocking structures to aid in your progress so don't forget to play this one play this daily so that you would be able to continuously unlock content for the game okay so next would be for your cookies so more or less um for the cookies you need to be able to build a good team probably your first five when you start the game so um if you can remember the the ones that i summoned were actually herb and um, the other one was latte cookie so basically they 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 are two uh good uh cookies to start with so you all you actually just have to fill in the rest so more or less um you will have to decide on what type of team you want to build what type what type of uh, strategy are you going to give for them and also you have to take note once you've identified your top five cookies that you're going to build because you cannot really you cannot really spend um all of your resources on all of your cookies because that would defeat the purpose of progressing far in this game so you have to more or less be sure that you um equip your top five cookies with the best toppings that you can get okay toppings are actually needed in order to level up your cookies um give them stats give them bonuses so what what's good about toppings is that you can unequip your toppings okay so um uh, feel free to mix and match your your toppings uh, depending on um the type of team you have the type of cookies you have okay so the next would be also i recommend that you level up your cookies so you could level them up because again um the higher the level the, um, the harder they hit or the higher their life is so this is actually a no-brainer do this for the for your top five cookies okay and um also um if you can see here the upgrade the upgrade i would not really recommend you you do this on an early stage because the materials here are very hard to find like this one the magic powder powder for latte cookie is actually very hard to find so you reserve your your your, your powders um once you have progressed 
very far in the game already what the the mistake that i've had with uh with 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 these powders is that i spent them early on even if i didn't use those cookies anymore so for example i was able to use um here chili pepper cookie i did upgrade her um but i'm not using her anymore so again save your powders basically for those who have uh, what they call this for you're going to really focus on moving forward for your team okay so again um one thing that you should focus on as well for for your cookies in terms of stat would be bonds so bonds are basically um important because once you level up certain cookies within a certain bond they give you additional stats like for example for this one me two cookies promote to one star so they give you it's a plus 250 hp plus plus 30 attack for these two okay so that is what is good about your bond so again for this one i already have a lot of stars and i'm nearing completion of this bond so again leveling up your cookies is not a waste um they have their own benefits as well through the bond system and last but not the least you have your treasures the so treasures as well have a gotcha system so treasures are actually equipped during um during your team creation so let's say for example um um gotcha so here they are so uh, treasures are actually here as well in your gotcha together with your cookies um they actually give you give you stats as well so let's come here so if you can see here here are your treasures so your each of your treasures actually give you a certain bonus when once you equip them so basically they also give you a certain um ability or bonus once you equip it with your team so more or less those those are the best guide in terms of your top five cookies early on okay so let's move on to bounties so bounties are actually um your only source of powders again you need powders for your skills right so um for each day for each day of the week it's actually a different uh powder that that this uh that bounties are going to give you so for monday it's charge ambush tuesday it's um defense and magic wednesday today it's ranged bomber uh bomber powder so thursday it's support and healing friday it's actually four sunday saturday is four and sunday all of the skill powder so please take note on when each powder will drop and do not miss one day when you look at your bounties okay one one of the things that usually beginners um you know um neglect to do is um forget about production in their respective kingdoms um to be honest with you you cannot go far with your cookies if you don't have a good kingdom so your kingdom would basically support um your leveling up of your cookies um you cannot actually get level them up or you cannot farm for this one or these if you haven't leveled them up so what you saw there are are, are what you need in terms of leveling them up so you need to actually build build these the the houses so these are called cookie houses so you need them because they will produce the materials for you to level up your cookies again um the other houses are there because you need to produce gold gold will be used actually in also leveling up your you know um gold will be used to let's open latte again the so gold will be used not here but in terms of promotion promotion um they'll be using gold toppings also when you level up your toppings you will also require gold as well see so basically gold is actually a a currency that you need to rank up your cookies and their ability okay so that is why again do not only focus on the gotcha or the battle system also focus on what your kingdom is producing um how you can produce that many and um it's actually a bit of a balance of both the gotcha play 
um, the chapters of the episodes and also the kingdom play. So again, um, do not forget as well. Um, one more tip in terms of the gotcha. Um, do not disregard this one, the mileage shop. Because the mileage shop is actually one of the places that you could get these cookies for, you know, probably for free as long as you do some summoning. So let's say, for example, you need 20. If you have, if, if I haven't had, um, if, I don't, if I don't have yet dark cookie, um, I will be required, um, I think, uh, one soul stone, uh, sorry, two, 20 soul stone for dark cookie to be summoned. So you actually need 2000 um, currency for your mileage shop for you to summon dark cookie initially. Okay, but for for other copies of him, um, usually the soul stone increases. But the mileage shop, don't forget this. Um, sometimes you 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 don't see this enough. Um, all um, take um, what do you call this? Uh, please bear this in mind that you have this eventually, and you can summon here cookies that you don't have yet. Okay, I'd like to point you out as well. In terms of the kingdom arena. Um, this is what this is one of the places that I actually did not see at most is the metal shop so once you have been playing um, PvP already you'll be accumulating medals this is also one good place that you could buy um, buy what you call this buy materials buy powder and you could actually buy soul stones here as well so that is why don't disregard this and always Please be on the lookout for this because um, it's not really that visible, but you have to be aware that it's there and that you could use it to further the game as well. Okay, so basically, um, also going back to the kingdom, this is actually one of the things that you should not neglect as well. Um, do your quests. The quest actually gives you a lot of um, gives you a lot of experience and a lot of gold. So you have to do this as well. Your daily quests, um, monitor the events as well that are happening. So, so on the right side you have your requests. Try to complete them. They're actually one of the biggest um, reward. In, they are one of the best in terms of rewards. And also, don't forget on the other side your events. So the events also give you a couple of rewards every now and then especially if you complete a certain thresh, uh, threshold so for using stamina jelly you have daily guild gifts it's actually complete there are a lot of items that you could get from this portion so please bear in mind that the events are also good to monitor okay um one of the currencies again um the 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 main currency for the game is actually gold and um, it's used for almost everything um, for your kingdom for leveling up your kingdom for leveling up buildings heroes um, again skills uh, toppings so the best way to get um, to get gold is actually through the tree of wishes so this is actually the best part where, where you could get your gold so if you click on them and you fulfill them like for example all like this one it's actually 22,000 gold and that's a lot already for three latte co coffee so fulfill them and it will be added to you so one of the best ways on how to on where to get your gold okay for for rare basically for rare um rare um items or because once once you are expanding your territory like for example this one You'll be needing certain materials like aura brick, like for example, aura compass. So the best way to get them is in terms of the tree and the bell, uh, the bear jelly, uh, bear jelly train. Um, I would actually suggest you focus on the bear jelly train because they usually give you a lot. Like for example, like that, um, a train just arrived and. I have a couple of hard to find items there so gold hard to find items so focus as well on your train level your castle up because the train will only um, arrive in your train station if you have leveled up your castle so make sure that you have done this 
and also um, don't forget the fountain as well fountain of abundance and here's your castle so level up your castle again it requires a lot of materials for you to level this up so don't forget and also for the balloon this is where you also get additional experience for your cookies so additional items as well see um materials toppings gold experience so everything is here okay so more or less those are the most important things that you should um, watch when you're um, starting out as a beginner more or less um this is this is actually already it in terms of what you need to learn once you start and how to efficiently uh, progress through the game anyway if you have comments suggestions please write them down below so anyway take care guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out